Okay, hello guys, my name is Bright from CEO Design. I'm glad to be your tutor for today. So in today's tutorial, I'll be giving you guys five hacks in making social media flyer background. Stay, stay, watch this video to the end. Don't go anywhere. Let's go there. Okay, today's tutorial is for you out there. Um, I've seen people struggle so much with making background just for a design. Like I've seen some people spend over five hours just to make a background. <laughs> for how much? <laughs> okay, so that is why this tutorial is coming. With these five quick hacks, you can go from five hours of making a simple design to 20 30 minutes of making that same design. Trust me, you'll see it happen right here. Okay, for the first tip, I'll first of all create my gradient. Create my gradient. Um, these are default gradient on Photoshop CC 2020. Let me just go with this one. Then, secondly, I will introduce an image I want to blend in. Okay, let me go with this liquid. Commit. Then I come to my blend mode. And choose a blend mode that really gives me what I want. Okay, for this, multiply. I like multiply. Then, thirdly, I I go to Gaussian blow and just blow it out a little bit, a little bit. Okay, I think I'm satisfied with that. Now I introduce the man and the text. Now note this: this can work for any image out there, but always make sure you try out a blend mode that works with the image you are introducing. Okay, for the next tip, it's called image blur. So we'll pick an image and we'll just blur out the image until the colors in the image are having this smooth transition. So let's assume that we want to work on a red a red background like this guy, just an example. So we'll pick an image having more of red, like this one. I'll we'll put it on our Canva. I'll just pop this guy right up. Okay. Commit. Then blur. Go to blur, Gaussian blur. Yeah, let it be, let it pop up very well. So we have this smooth transition be between colors. This very smooth transition. Then you hit on OK. And I think I would just like to flip this guy back. That's how the blue goes down. Okay. Since my man's image is having a blue shirt. Yeah, that's it. Now probably maybe you. You don't really like this color you can still play around with it you can go to adjustment layer and you and saturation clip this guy down that layer and just use this slider you see you can have different colors just from this and that is it okay for the third tip it's called text outline patterns so we use some fancy text in our background to fill up our background and kind of gives it this fancy look so what we'll do we'll just introduce uh, okay let me introduce the man because let me pick the color from his clothes and fine okay so let me hide him again so i'll just write a text since we are talking about social media let me just write social social it could be your your brand name it could be whatever day. if it's um, monday thank god it's friday whatsoever so um then I'll go to FX, click on blending option. Then in this blending option, I come to this field opacity and just take that guy to zero, completely zero. Then come to stroke, give it a wide stroke and the size of three, three pixels. Then hit on OK. All right. Now I transform this guy, come to the top, just stretch out this guy across our Canva like this. I commit, then duplicate bring under this one duplicate again bring under let's just carry this to and duplicate bring both of them under okay that's done then we pick the entire social the social text we have done hold on shift on your keyboard and select from bottom to from top to bottom very important then we convert to smart object okay from top to bottom. 
Oh, my Nigerian brothers. Okay. So, I do control T. Very important. I might click on the text and click perspective. So, I come to this anchor here and just slide this guy up like this. I hit on commit. Then, click on control T again and size up this text across my canvas now like this. Okay. And I just change my blend mode to something light like soft light then bring back my text see it just gave me this fancy look at the background i can see i just okay for the fourth tip it's actually called custom shape patterns so we'll create a custom shape and we we'll use it to make a pattern on our background very fast so the shape i'm making will be a round shape just pick your lip to then just create this perfect Circle, give it a color, just pick a color, just let's just pick a color around this man, a very light color. Okay, then create another circle at the center of this one. Okay, just give it a different color, it's a different color. Now, hold your Hold control on your keyboard and hit on this thumbnail. Okay. Now hold control shift and I to invert selection. Then come to the underneath layer, the first ellipse to click on it and click on layer max. Okay. So delete this one. Fine. Now control T to transform. Bring here. Just stretch to stretch it out. Okay, stretch it out. Okay, this is nice. Then duplicate this guy. Take somewhere around the top. Okay. This is nice. Still duplicate this guy. Take somewhere around this place. Just reduce it. Just play around with this shape. Duplicate this guy. Take around this place. Still reduce it. Um, well, again. Okay, still duplicate. Let's put one around here to add some more effect. Okay. Now, come to the top of the layer, this the first one here, then to the bottom, hold your con hold your shift rather, then click on it so you select all, then group, go to your blend mode and change this guy to, just come around this place, then pick anyone that, that really does what you want. So I think I like this linear light, I could just reduce this guy a little bit. Okay, then bring back my text. So it just give this guy something fancy behind we did this shape ourselves in less than two minutes and it's giving our background something something very very nice so for the fifth and final trick for this uh, flyer background it's got round brush glow round brush glow so we actually play with our brush to the soft round brush to for this trick so let's just quit our background first uh, I've not used any green for this tutorial today, so let me just use a green, okay, okay, fine. Now, I create a new layer, I choose my brush, I pick my brush to by pressing B on my keyboard or whatever, then I click on this foreground color, sorry, foreground color, pick this guy here, then just take this guy up, the trick is to get a lighter color, so it just glows, yes, a lighter color that glows. Okay. Okay. Now hit on OK. Now you could leave this guy 100 or just reduce it a little bit. Just keep like 90, 95. Okay. For opacity and flow. Then make sure your hardness is on zero. Now come to this button. Just drop, paint your brush there. Okay. You could come around this side and paint your brush there. And probably at this top. Just paint your brush there. Okay, that done. Then come to your layer, right click, change this guy to smart object. Then we'll go to blur. So we can have a smooth transition between colors. Okay. I think I'm satisfied with this. And I hit on OK. And I bring back my man and the text. So it just gave it just gave the design this this brightness behind. See before it and after it. And I could make this guy more popping and uh, create a new layer choose my brush to come below his like where his head is 
then you just paint a gauze over there. You see, it's just made that head blue. <laughs> it gives some emphasis on the head and it just gives the, the, the design some glowing effect and I really like it so much. I usually use this. So guys, with that we come to the end of today's tutorial. It was fun for me making this and I know you learned a lot from this. So, um, I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also ring the bell icon close to the subscribe button so you never miss any future posts. And trust me, one or two tutorials from this, I'll be sharing with you guys some tricks and, and tips in creating church flyers. Stay tuned, subscribe to this channel, like, share.